Hi everybody and welcome. This is Crafty Lady. I'm going to show you how to make a dish towel that hangs over top of your oven door. And what you're going to do is just take a piece of cardstock or cardboard and uh, it needs to be nine across by eight and a half wide. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold that cardboard in half once you get the side of nine by eight and a half and if you use a piece of cardstock you'll probably just cut off a little tiny piece like this and then you're going to fold in half and then fold it in half again and then you're going to take the scissors and you're going to cut from here to here don't make this really super big this is probably about um, maybe an inch and a half wide because when you open it up this is going to be your neckline and you don't want this really super big so then you're going to take a piece of fabric that is nine and a half by um, eight and a half and it'll come out a little bit smaller because we're going to have seam lines and you need two pieces so what you can do is you can take um, your fabric and fold it in half fold this in half Put your cardboard up to it and then um, cut around it you know you could trace it and then cut around it so once you do this you're going to take these two pieces you are going to turn these inside out so you're going to be sewing the wrong sides together And normally I would press all this and iron it, but for the save time on the video, I won't be doing that. Pressing is like a big thing. And we're going to sew all the way around here. So let's do that real quick. And these are really um, super easy to make. Um, what you're going to do on the sides, let me get this going. I got my foot off here. That phone always has got a ring. Probably one of my kids blowing up the phone. Remember to back stitch. You're probably thinking, how are you going to open it up? I will show you how we're going to open it. And then what I'm going to do is like these little corners, I'm going to nip it off so when we turn the fabric, it's not balky in the corners. And then what you're going to do is uh, a string hanging here is you're going to um, normally you would iron this like I said and press it so you can get the seams really good. You're going to fold that in half like we did the cardboard and then we're going to fold that in half again and make sure it's even or your neckline is going to come out kind of funny. See, normally I would press all this, but to save time on the camera, I should have did one up ahead of time. And then we're going to cut. This is going to be our neckline. We cut that. Now when we open it, that's our neck. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to get the fabric apart and we are going to turn it inside out 
I make a lot of these and I sell out of them every Christmas. They have one that you can make with sleeves, but I don't really care for it. Ignore my phone. I'm so sorry. Okay, so now you have this. And what you would do is you would iron this, and I wish I'd have had my iron going. And we are going to... Um, we are going to take one piece of the dish towel right here and you are going to sew that to here and you're probably saying well that's really big but what you're going to do is you are going to gather this on here so you'll start here and I usually turn the end in a little bit and then you are going to take this fabric and you're going to, as you're sewing, you're going to gather it. That's going to give you the pleats in the dress. So let me get this side going. Don't forget to back stitch or your stuff will come out. And I, I hope you can see this. I don't know if you can. Um... But what I'm doing, I'll bring this over here real close so you can see. Um, what I'm doing here is I will take the fabric and I will pinch it and I will turn it like this. And I will pinch it again and, and, and put those together as my pleats and sew them under. And then that's what gives you the pleats. So um, I hope that this helps a little bit. I, um, I don't know I need a camera that will zoom that I could put overhead but I don't have one of those so I gotta use what I got and make sure you don't pleat it too much together because um, you won't end up having enough fabric and that pleat came out because I didn't hold it so <coughs> and you can use any kind of dish towel you want on this at holidays I'll use some holiday ones I don't like making too many of those because you only I like making stuff that people can use all year long instead of something that is just once in a while. Okay. So, here is the front of our thing. This is the front of our dress. And I hope you can see it. So now we're going to do the back the same way. We're going to take it and we're going to take the last one. We're going to do the same thing this way. I'm trying to hurry. Usually, um, these only take me a few minutes to make, and a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just um, make all my tops up, and then I'll pick out my dish towels and that I'm going to use, and I will do them really quick. I'll spend a day and make tons of these.
definitely don't want this to come unthreaded right now. It takes me a while to get it threaded. Um, I have a hard time seeing after I had a stroke and it makes it really difficult. Okay, so now I'm hoping that you can see this. I'm trying to look to see. This is all sewn together. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some lace. You can take any kind you want. And we're going to sew this. We're going to start in the back so that the seam will meet in the back. And we're going to sew this all around the opening. And this is going to give you a little ruffle for the neck of your dress. And I'm hoping that I'm making it easy enough so that you guys can understand what I'm doing. Um, especially for beginners, um, advanced sewers. They don't have that, you know, they pretty much pick up on what you're doing. I'm trying to make this so that people that haven't sewn can pick up and do this and these make wonderful wonderful Christmas gifts so now we are going to go around and we're going to sew this on always remember to back stitch or your stitching is going to come out and this take this is what takes a little more time because you got to go around a little circle and you got to make sure that your lace is on there. If it isn't for the dogs barking on one of my videos or the phone, I don't know. Every little noise that they hear when I'm home alone, they become into this really crazy protective dog mode and they think that I guess everything's going to come up here and get us or something I don't know but sometimes they're just nuts and you can pleat this too if you want it to be more ruffly you can do like how we pleated the bottom and pleat it and um, as you're sewing it and it will make it more Puffy. This part takes a little bit of time because you can only move a little bit at a time. And if you have a, a thing on your sewing machine to where you can put keep the needle down for position, um, I would suggest to keep it down. That way when you're turning and if you got to lift your foot, it holds everything in place like it's supposed to be. So now we're at this end. And I usually leave enough left over that I can fold the last piece over so that you don't see the raw edges And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew real quick some lace across the front of here and across the back and it gives it a little more decorative look and a little more finished look so it'll only take me a second to do that because that's a straight stitch and it's straight across and we're not going in a circle. Try not to make this video too long. It takes forever to upload. But to do these videos that show people how to do it step by step takes a while. And I, like I said, on the ends, I always leave a little enough to where I can turn it under so that you don't see that raw edge. That's one side. We're going to flip it and do the back side. And you don't have to do the back if you don't want to. A lot of people don't do the back. They leave it because it's the back of the dress. Um, sometimes I like it 
Um, a lot of people won't do it because that way they know when they're putting it on their stove, what's the front and the back, and I like just doing it. It looks unfinished. And then plus this covers up where you sewed the two pieces together. And you don't have to do that. I see a lot of people that don't do this, that don't want to put this in there. But ever since I've made them, I've always done it. I've been making these for quite a few years now. Now you have, this is um, it finished now. I don't know if you can see it. And what you're going to do is you have two options. You can Velcro this side together, a Velcro piece on this side and this side, so that when you slide this over your oven, you can do it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put light lace so that it has two ties, and we can tie the ties together. So um, I think it just looks nicer. So what I'm going to do is I got some lace here. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to cut that. And then I'm going to fold it in half again. And then I'm going to cut it again. And what I'm going to do real quick is um, to... Um, I'm trying to make it easier. A lot of times I'll take the time and I will sew this inside of when I'm sewing this first top piece together. That way it don't come out, but for beginners, I wanted to show them how to go about putting this on without having to worry about that. So you're going to take this and you're going to just come up a little bit and you're going to sew this on here. And I'm going to fold the ribbon like this in half and then I'm going to sew that so that you don't see the raw edge. And make sure you sew it quite a few times because other words it's going to come apart. And then you're going to take it and line that up with the next side and you want to do the same thing. You want to try to get them as even as possible so one's not up higher than the other. then you're going to go over to the other side and you're going to do the same thing. And excuse all my threads hanging. Normally I spend the time to trim them but I am trying to make this video as fast as I can and get this done up for you guys. Because I hate threads that hang. Okay, so I got to measure and make sure that I'm close to the same size as what I was over here. Okay, so now we are going to do the same thing over here. A lot of people like using Velcro. I like doing this. I think it, it just looks a little cuter. It makes it look more like a little sundress. We're almost done, guys. Measure that. 
Okay. Usually I'm a little more precise on everything, but I'm rushing this. Usually I'll mark it out with a marking pencil and this together so you can see and this slides right over top of your oven door um, if you have a handle on your oven and then you have a dish towel right there ready to use and this is I doing this one because this one is for my kitchen I have a coffee theme going on I love the coffee thing and then I would press this down too so I will lay this down on here and then I will show you the finished product. Okay, so now this is the finished product that you will get. It's so cute. So I hope you guys make these. Thank you. This is Crafty Lady signing off.